In a place left powerless for so long, reeling from its darkest moments, the air in paradise is unmistakably electric. The hometown high school Bobcats just capped a perfect 10-0 season to make the playoffs. Junior Jacob Duncan spent his first year on the varsity team, adjusting to life, living in an RV. I do my homework over here. Like most of the team, Jacob's family was forced to relocate. After fire, everyone's like, oh, why doesn't paradise just go back to the normal? And it's like, normal is not the same normal it used to be. Their home, one of more than 14,000 destroyed in last fall's campfire. A town of 26,000 people in ruins. One year later, and as you drive around town, it is still so easy to find scenes just like this one. However, people are returning. It's a slow process, but progress is being made. Around town, there are signs of life. 500 new building permits submitted, 3,000 already back in their homes, and 200 businesses back open. Every time I see a new business opening, a new house being built, it's all part of the rebuilding process, and it's positive. Dearly Father, thank you for this day. And every week, under these Friday night lights, people here trading their own personal dramas for the dreams unfolding on the field. Last year, the season tragically cut short. This year, it's a rallying cry, unifying an entire town. What's this like? The town went through so much, and now they're in the playoffs. Small town football, man. The kids are the future of this place. Nearly every player lost their home, battle-tested by heartbreak and loss. Yeah, these are my boys. I'm so proud, I can't even stand it. And now, finding some peace, not just in victory, but utter dominance. What motivates these kids to play so well? I just think this is the one normal thing they have in their life, is football right now. Green machine, green machine, green machine. Proving that the soul of paradise can never be lost. Paradise pride on three, one, two, three. Paradise pride! Steve Patterson, NBC News, Paradise, California.